Juliet's three months now, so she's at that age where she doesn't want to be fully swaddled. Um, plus, she wasn't fully swaddled all the time at the NICU, so it's been a hard transition for her. So I wanted to show you guys how you can use the Norani swaddle to swaddle one hand in and how to also just swaddle from the waist down. Um, so it gives you lots of different options. This is her dominant hand, so I'm actually just going to either um, put this side in or if you want to strengthen one arm over another, you can do that too. And I'm going to swaddle her exactly as I would if I was fully swaddling her. So I'm going to do this side in. We call her Grunty, McGrunterson right here. So I'm going to tuck this side in right here to keep her feet together. And I'm going to pull this right underneath her arm. And I'm going to swaddle her with one hand out. And this is especially helpful for babies who are either not on a pacifier or you want them, which she's kind of like transitioning out. Or if they're starting to self-soothe with a specific hand, if they are like how she's trying to do, the hand that they're self-soothing with is the one that you should leave out because once they start to self-soothe, that's when they'll start sleeping longer stretches. Now I'm gonna show you how to swaddle with both hands out. This is actually also really helpful for babies that are super gassy like she is. That's why she grunts so much because it's creating a little bit of warmth in their belly. So you're gonna take the swaddle right underneath basically where their armpit is, swaddle this right in there. You can bring the bottom part, just lightly tuck it in. And then again, right underneath the arm and see she's already like grunting less because she likes the tightness on her belly.